Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for October 23rd, 2019. Well, doggone it, guys. We just had a day yesterday that left some concerning patterns here in the market, and we seem to be getting a bit of a follow through with that this morning. So what's going on here? Well, first off, we we really do now have this potential of this lower high in the Dow, and that's a concern as that continues to develop. Now, the positive note on this is we still are holding on to this price support, or we were um, as of the close yesterday. And as you can see, our 50-day moving average is still turning and trying to come up to provide some support to that index. But this lower high is, is a concern for me. And this morning, we are gapping down. Now, what happened here? Well, yesterday, we had some pretty ugly earnings from uh, McDonald's. McDonald's uh, zooming lower yesterday, tagging its 200-day moving average. Um, bad earnings out of whoops, Travelers. Um, and you can see that sinking hard today. Those are both affecting the indexes. And then this morning we have a miss from Caterpillar. Caterpillar is moving lower, but not surprise, surprisingly not massively lower like I would expect on the miss. And then Boeing has just reported this morning um, worse than expected earnings. Toss in the fact that our mortgage applications number came in at a 12% uh, decline this morning. And we have the stage set for kind of an ugly morning open. But we have a mix of infra of things here. Dow is looking pretty bearish this morning, pulling down. And one of the things that the Dow can do if it gets really ugly here, it can it can affect the other indexes as well to move them down so we're looking at a gap down open of more than 100 points right now in the futures on on the dow and a pretty um pretty disappointing look here to the dow um it looks to me like with this gap down open i would suggest a push down to the 50-day moving average looks very likely today so watch that closely let's hope we hold that 50-day moving average as these earnings continue to give us a little bit of concern here in the Dow. Now let's take a look at the SPY. Now the SPY doing a much better job, holding up quite a little bit better, but yesterday left behind this bearish engulfing candle. And doggone it, it happens to come right at this resistance high. We have just that little bit of lower high that could be forming here. And that bearish engulfing candle up here adds a little bit of concern as we run up here to test these all time highs. Now you can see this morning we're looking at just a slightly bearish open on the S&P 500, a little follow through to that candle, which is a bit of a concern um, if, it, if it continues that move lower. Right now, I think the SPY is in much better situation than the Dow is, but we know that the Dow uh, can at times push down or pull down um, other indexes. Now, right now we have the Dow bouncing back up. We were down almost 130 points just a moment ago. And now the Dow is bouncing back up. We're only down 93 points in the Dow future. So we've got quite a little fluctuation going on as these earnings reports come out. So we'll want to keep a close eye on that. But a little bit of concern with that bearish engulfing candle. And once again, the good news is we are holding on, particularly here in the SPY, we're holding on some, to some pretty good support levels, price levels in this chart, and that 50-day moving average is coming up. So we're holding on pretty good here in the SPY as long as those earnings continue uh, to hold this up. If we take a look at the Qs, however, the NASDAQ, boy, that's a pretty ugly pattern that we have here on the NASDAQ. When I have a big bearish candle like this, uh, a little white candle in between and a bearish candle, I call that an Oreo cookie pattern. And those Oreo cookie patterns tend to lead lower. We'll have to wait and see if that actually um, produces here today that lower uh, push down. But we are seeing just a slight gap down 
this morning here in the queues, even though the, the, um, we're trying to hold up some positive numbers um, in the futures here. We're, we're showing a little bit of a gap down here this morning in the NASDAQ. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely. Um, once again, we're holding on to these price support levels, but we're really at that point where we're just barely hanging on here. So we'll want to watch that pretty close if we start to slip. Remember our 50 day moving average down here is holding up and we still have a gap below that could be filled. So if we drop into that gap, we could easily see some selling pushing down into there. So it'll be pretty interesting to see how we address today with so many earnings as they continue to roll out to, uh, this morning. Let's take a look at um, IWM. IWM uh, certainly not giving us a whole lot of warm and fuzzies here with kind of a, a tweezer top, a two, two wicks up here, um, very close to each other, showing a little bit of stress maybe in this uh, recent rally. We'll have to keep an eye on that. And overall, um, as I can continue to point out, IWM is struggling with this resistance high and having a, a tough time getting up through there. It's been struggling with that for more than a year and uh, just been way underloved uh, in comparison to the rest of the market. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX here this morning, um, I'm going to go to this chart. The VIX um, showed a little bit of fear yesterday, but not very much, just perking up a little tiny bit. What we seem to be doing is maybe holding on to this price support area in here. And with this selling this morning, we might see that chance where fear could come in just a little bit, maybe creep up here toward these resistance levels in the chart. But I don't see that as being terribly bearish, at least at the moment. We don't want to see panic coming into play, but maybe a little bit of pullback in the market might be what we need as long as we can hold those 50-day moving averages. Um, as I speak this, the Dow futures are just all over the place. Uh, Dow futures are now only showing a gap down of 63 points. Interesting how much they have bounced back here all of a sudden. So I don't know what's creating that. I haven't seen uh, possibly there's more earnings coming out. I don't know. But pretty interesting um, how we're bouncing right back um, on these reports. So let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see T2122 has been pushing up here toward this bearish reversal zone. We had a little pullback yesterday, which actually opens up the door for a little bit more upside here in the market. So we do have the ability to move up here. There is room to move up here um, in the market. Whether we can actually break through those big resistance levels in the chart is, has yet to be seen. I don't know if, um, if we can actually break through those. We'll have to be really, really careful and watch that. Um, futures are continuing to race back up. Um, surprisingly, we are only looking at a gap down of 50 points right now. So we're all over the map here this morning. Anything is possible by the open um, as these reports continue to roll in. Um, let's take a look here and notice that if we were to pull back, if we were to fail, there is a big open door here uh, to the downside. So keep that in mind. We don't have all that much room to the upside, but we do have to remember that we can stay up here for a while, meaning that we can stay up toward that resistance high for quite some time as long as these earnings continue to hold us up. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our econ economic calendar doesn't have a whole lot here for us to worry about. We had those mortgage apps that came in this morning showing a 12% decline in mortgage applications. But um, the market seems to not care about that, at least at the moment. And we have the EIA Petroleum Status Report today, which uh, obviously can move around oil shares, but not likely to trump. Uh, and that's not meant as a pun, but not likely to 
to trump the results of earnings reports. So um, the pro the majority focus will be on earnings reports and, of course, the evolving news story over there with Brexit. Um, we seem to be reacting to that um, in those news reports uh, pretty consistently as well. On the earnings calendar today, we have a bunch of uh, companies reporting earnings, um, over 200 companies reporting, and um, some of those companies, like I said, are, uh, have already started to report and come in, and we're going to have to watch, whoops, we're going to have to watch these pretty closely today. Um, so um, this afternoon, we have uh, several key ones to be paying attention to, such as Microsoft and PayPal, those will be important this afternoon. So kind of stay on your toes. There is a lot that could happen here um, with um, so many earnings reports rolling out, a lot of volatility that can be created. So with that, everyone, let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, I would like to um, ask you guys for a favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, could you please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then click that uh, bell icon for um, just so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. Right now, the channel has over 600 videos. I po post a daily video um, every market day uh, for this market preparation. And I try to keep these videos very, very simple in the fact that we're looking at the technicals, not providing a whole bunch of hype or prediction here. Just looking at the technicals of the chart and trying to see which way those markets might go based on those technicals and how we might want to approach the market for the day. So if you find those helpful, if you could please um, uh, also click that thumbs up button and leave a comment that helps in um, having YouTube show these videos to more folks and growing the channel. I want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that. You guys are awesome and I truly, truly appreciate it. So with that, let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up um, trades that are um, looking pretty decent and places you might want to um, uh, or sucks you might want to put on a watch list and prepare for a potential trade. But I want to uh, make sure and mention that any charts that I show um, in this video are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security whatsoever. And they are meant as education. And if you can find something in here that um, works for you, um, you know, more power to you. That sounds great. Let's take a look. Um, I've mentioned Roku here a couple of times and Roku, doggone yesterday, tried to move up and pulled back. Now Roku has been moving up pretty nicely. If we can continue to hold this support level across here, I would watch this area right in here. If we can continue to hold, continue to hold onto this trend, I think we're still okay. This may be just consolidating as long as we don't break down. So a little little bit more rest in here, and then we may see that opportunity for Roku to, re, to move higher. Keep in mind, Roku reports on 11.6, so we'll want to keep an eye on that chart. Um, yesterday, I was watching Pfizer. Now, Pfizer has been, oh, just beat down terribly in this chart. And the reason I was looking at it is this is that pattern that we trade an awful lot here, hit and run candlesticks and right way options, and that is the rounded bottom breakout pattern. Now the rounded bottom breakout pattern is when a stock has been really strongly oversold and we start to round back up. And when I say round back up, we see those moving averages starting to turn and round back up, providing support here in this area. And the ultimate target in these trades is the 200 day moving average. Just think about um, when a stock fails, it's, it's 50 day moving average from above just kind of like we what we saw in uh, travelers we tend to we fail that 50-day moving average we tend to move to the 200 well this is just the opposite pattern so we're reversing back up 
And we have this nice little consolidation here on Pfizer. Now, I'm, I'm certainly not going to jump ahead of the earnings report here on the 29th. There may be an opportunity to catch a real quick trade in here, but I am watching Pfizer in here in this nice little consolidating uh, pattern to see if it can pop and move up. So watch that chart. There may be something there to keep an eye on. Um, I think we want to keep an eye on a lot of these um retail stocks that have been doing quite well here recently and take a look at costco costco's been moving up in this really uh nice trend it's gotten a little bit wonky up here with um, big whip whippy type moves but you can see we've moved up nice and we're consolidating right in here so i would watch this level right through here if we can hold or consolidate in here there may still be that opportunity to move on up in costco and that's one of the things that's really important about my trading is staying within the trend I only really want to trade stocks that are either trending up or trending down and they're reacting to their trend and so watching charts like this can provide you with some great opportunities in trades and Costco is one of those that is looking pretty good here's one that I think is a pretty interesting chart to pay attention to let me remove this line for just a second. If you take a look at um, home, H-O-M-E, and you've seen me um, talk about this one a few times in this morning video, um, if we take a look here, we are holding in a trend. And we've moved, we've consolidated this move all the way over to this trend, and we're looking at an opportunity of trying to break above this big gap down. There's this big open hole up here, this big open gap, and that happens to be in the correspondence of that 200 day moving average so here we have that rounded bottom breakout pattern where we get oversold and then we start to rally back up toward there and the possibility of that gap fill you might want to keep an eye on that watch that chart uh, maybe some opportunity here overall um, seeing some good moves in other retail stocks like dollar general dollar general continuing to move up just following this nice little steady trend as we move up and we're seeing that in a lot of different retail stocks here um, lately trying to move on higher and react higher um, and, and and that's really coming in in a lot of different places take a look at like um, gps uh, the gap whoops there we go. GPS, GPS coming up out of this bottom. And if you take a look at this, there is that possibility that this could be setting up that bit of a hit, inverted head and shoulders pattern and that bullish uh, pattern in here, that break above the 50 and maybe that rally up toward um, that 200 day moving average. We're seeing beautiful moves in Home Depot. Home Depot holding up really strongly, looking really good in this chart. Let's watch Home Depot as this rest, three or four days of rest here now. If we can get just a little bit more rest, move over toward its trend, and then maybe have that opportunity to move on higher. Nike has been looking really good and pulling back the last couple of days, but I think we're in good shape as long as we hold onto this trend. So a little bit of rest and pullback. We might hold on to uh, support right in here. We might find some support right in here. But if we hold that support, move over toward that trend, I'd be looking for that next potential entry into Home Depot. So some really good charts out there for us to pay attention to and watch. Right now, the Dow futures, we were down 130 points just a few moments ago. We are now only down 32 points. So we're trying to reverse all of this bearishness this morning in the futures and wanting to bounce back. Um, watch that pretty closely. How this market reacts um, is pretty surprising to me, how we can reverse so quickly. But you can see now we're looking at just barely a gap down. So the things that I talked about, that concern first thing this morning, seems to have been wiped out in just um, this 15 minutes that I've been chatting about this. So we're going to have to be very, very careful and watchful of the price action uh, this morning as we continue to whip back and forth here in reaction to these earnings reports. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to wish you great profits. And 
Um, if you're struggling as a trader, I want to really encourage you not to give up. Trading is a very challenging business. It really takes a long time to um, find your comfort level, to find that, that niche that really works for you. So never give up on that dream of being a full-time trader. Believe me, if an old carpenter like myself can figure it out, you can too. So hang in there, keep working, keep practicing, and I want to wish you all the very best today. Take care. We'll talk to you soon, bright and early tomorrow morning.